I have been working with multiple companies over the last month, getting them to 8,000 stars in four months. One thing I realized is that if you are not doing AI today, it will be 10 times harder for you to actually make your project trend. And so if you don't have an AI company, there is a solution for that. So you can do multiple stuff. Let's take, for example, Novo. Novo is a notification infrastructure company to send notifications. Inherently, it's not an AI company. But what you can actually do is show how you can use Novo together with an LLM to do something. And you can also use many other channels that are not available for you if you are not targeting AI. The other option is to actually build a product around your main product. So let's take an example. If you are a database company, you can build something like an SQL query creator or SQL query fixer. If you are a cloud native type of product, maybe you want to create a Terraform generator that you just describe what you want and it will write you the entire Terraform. So basically, if somebody find your landing page somewhere and talk about it in the next section, they can use your Terraform generator and lead them themselves into you. And by that, you have somebody that you know that want to use a Terraform generator. And this Terraform generator is actually the same target audience as what your tool is doing. So you have some kind of a connection. Another option is actually not to have AI at all, just to write some kind of hypes. So you can take, for example, the latest hype, which is Suno, that allows you to create any type of song. There is unlimited amount of genres, so you can choose rap, hip hop, funk, anything that you want. I've shared in the description below a few examples that you can actually use. And then you just tag Suno and maybe they will actually repost you or retweet you. But generally speaking, because it's so hypey right now, when users scroll the feed and they see something with Suno, they kind of want to see it. And this is your key to talk about your company, but also show that everything is made with Suno. Another option is to actually create a lot of integrations. Integrations is usually one of the best way to implement anything with your product, not only AI. But let's say I am Wing, now I can add to my product LangChain, so you can use Wing with LangChain together. And basically when I promote it later, I can contact the companies and tell them, listen, I've created this article and it involves your company. Would you help me to promote it? We'll talk about it in the next section. And if you like this content so far, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. But the best, best, best option is actually to change your product to be an AI product. And by that, I mean you actually change your messaging. Inherently, you are not an AI product, but you put it so much in your messaging that you target AI audiences. Let's take an example. PyPy is also an open source company for building web applications with Python. You can create different workflows, and connect your Python code between them to create different kind of predictions, sales dashboard, and so on. The thing about TyPy is that it's not an AI company. You can add between the Python nodes machine learning code for prediction. Since we know that that is possible, we've changed the company from being building web applications to building AI data for web applications. And by that now, we are targeting data scientists and architects and so on. So it's really changing the company because we already see that most of the leads coming in are actually data scientists and people in their field. So really think if you're going to do something like that, usually that's the best option. Now, in order to find what to write about or what to implement, there's usually a few options. I usually use social media because I'm so active on social media. So I see all the latest trends. And when you see such a big trend as Suno, that every other person talking about it, yeah, go ahead, do something with it. Don't wait a few weeks, months when it's not popular anymore. The other option is to go to the GitHub trending feed because the trending feed is built on the amount of activity other open source repository have. Now, if this open source repository is super popular, then most likely this is what people are looking for right now. So you need to check how you can take this open source repository and mix it with your stuff together and then promote it because you already have the indicator that this thing is popular. Okay, so you have done the work, you created the content, you change your, your website messaging, you search for trending repositories, but the main question is how do you promote it now? And this is where the magic actually happens because you have so many new channels you can use when you start to talk about AI. So you can use influencers like Santiago or Alex Wang. You can also use publishing platforms such as MarkTech Post. 
In general, you can post on Dev.2. Once you start to talk about AI, everything becomes 10 times more popular. Just remember that currently the biggest trend in AI are RAG and LLMs, so usually you should stick to those ones. You can also use AI newsletters, such as TLDR AI. Now, just a small note, I don't usually recommend newsletters so much. Really, if you only can attach the right content to the right type of newsletter, because newsletters inherently don't write about your product, they just put you as a sponsorship inside the newsletter. The moment you talk about sponsorship, it becomes 10 times less interesting. So really usually use those channels once you've maximized all the other channels. And if you like this video, please make sure you watch the previous video about how to put the right CTA inside your GitHub repository.